Sorok and I both worked with uh, Nichelle Nichols, and we got to know Nichelle fairly well. I knew her really well in her in her later years. And there's something that you embody that uh, beyond Uhura that Nichelle had, and that's warmth. She just mm-hmm. had this sense of of warmth and love and compassion and positivity. And it's kind of just radiating from you so obviously. Oh, thank you. Uh, it's and it, it's thank great. You. It's great to see that uh, because then you're not just carrying her torch, but obviously your own for a new generation of people. Uh, can you just tell us a little bit about if you've ever had the chance to meet Nichelle, if there was something yeah. that you were trying to harness from having seen before or what or what you kind of try to pave in your own way? Of course. Uh, Unfortunately, I wasn't able to. We um, had something, her her team and my team had something organized. And unfortunately, Mm -hmm. uh, she passed before that was able to come to fruition. And I was very much someone who was like, while I would love to meet her, I understand she's in a different chapter of her life. So like, that's not something I'm going to be pressing anybody for. It it would be a gift if, if it's possible. It's also fine. If not, I have an incredible amount of I, I've computers and 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 access to the internet, so I can do as much research as possible. Um, but I got to meet her lovely sister um, and some mm-hmm. of her colleagues, uh, and uh, they were just so supportive and so kind. And I, um, I, I, I remember this is such a tangent, but um, her sister was wearing these like gorgeous earrings. Um, and I, uh, uh, I complimented them. I was like, Oh my goodness, your earrings are beautiful. And she took them off her ears and handed them to me. Um, and, and, and I was, I I was shocked. I was like, please, no, no, no. I, I, I just, I, I, I like poops as, as, as we do. Um, and she (laughs) took them off ears and handed them to me. And she was like, Michelle would do this all the time. And I just feel this impulse and this instinct to give these to you. And now I have them like in a box protected from the elements because nothing bad can (laughs) ever happen to them. These are sacred Um, hoops. But no, no, they're sacred and they will be buried with me. Um, (laughs) but, uh, yeah, I mean, to, to, to speak to that, um, to, to speak to your compliment, uh, thank you for saying such kind things. Um, it's really important to me to be the type of person I want to see in the world. Um, and excuse me, a quote that sticks with me. Uh, that I heard one day many years ago when I was like 17, uh, someone said, be the type of person you needed when you were younger. And that Mm -hmm. mentality of just like, if you needed something in the world and it wasn't there, the best thing you can do is build it for yourself so other people can say that they had it. Um, And I can, like, my brain is like singing Nichelle's name right now. And that's such a... I, I feel that that mentality of just holding space for others and being able to advocate for yourself in a way that's not like harsh or sharp or just like carry joy because some people can't carry it with all the things they're holding. Um, that is something that I try to do. And I think that's so much of me personally, but also Uhura as a character. Um, uh, In TOS, she was very much like the light, the brightness, just because of the landscape of the 60s. We didn't have a lot of opportunity for depthy storytelling for Black people, especially Black women. Um, And so the fact that she could still maintain this reputation of someone who has such warmth, but still has layers of advocacy and still has major civil rights leaders cheering her on and saying, hey, we need you. That pressure, it requires you to carry warmth so you don't buckle underneath it. And and that is something that has inspired me personally and has definitely inspired my rendition of Uhura because she's going through a lot of tough stuff, little lady. And and it's um, important for me to still imbue recognizable bits of lightness and joy. And and yeah, I could I could get on my soapbox and talk about existentialism, but uh, <laughs> I won't. Um, but yeah, um, all that to say, thank you. I appreciate it. And it's it's very conscious. So I appreciate uh, you flagging that. I will take that with me and carry it forever. <laughs> well deserved. Thank you. Yeah, that's cool. 